Number one, convert an aquarium air pump to make an inexpensive vacuum bagging pump. Remove the screws to open the cover. Carefully remove the bellows and flip the valve 180 degrees. Repeat this for the other side. Plug it into test and the pump should now suck in air through both of the ports. Replace the cover. Attach tubing to connect both ports on the pump to your sealed vacuum bag. It can take a while for the pump to suck out all the air, but once the bag is pulled down, this will help to remove trapped air and excess resin and compress the carbon fiber into the mold. You can leave the pump to run continuously while the part cures. For comparison, this is an easy vac pump from ACP Composites with the same double bellows design, but for about six times the price. The aquarium pump provides around six inches of mercury versus about eight on the easy vac, which in my testing did not affect the final result. Number two, use painter's plastic as a release film. This is the 0.31 mil super thin kind, which costs cents on the yard. It works like any other non-porous release material to maintain a resin rich part and prevent bagging material from adhering to the carbon fiber. Bonus tip, overlap forged carbon fiber fabric along the irregular blendable edge to make a seam that does not show up in the final part. This way you can utilize smaller pieces of fabric in larger projects. Because this painter's plastic is so thin, it's relatively easy to press the plastic backed carbon fiber into the details of the mold with less chance of bridging and voids versus the typical non-porous release film. However, it's important to leave a wide border of extra plastic around the part so that you have a sturdy edge to pull from after the resin cures, otherwise it's going to be impossible to peel off the delicate plastic in one piece. Note that any high density HDPE sheeting should work, but always do a test to make sure. Number three, choose a versatile resin. Buy it in bulk, then portion it into small squeeze bottles so it's easy to dispense accurately for small projects. This deep set epoxy works for laminating, coating, casting, and infusion. It has a three day cure time at room temp, so it's no problem to leave it out for several hours to degas before using it in a layup. Once the resin is applied, you can speed up the cure time with heat. Place the mold in a box with a heater, or for small items like this one, just wrap it in a heating pad and it will be ready to demold in about a day. Number four, regulate the heat cure cycle using a temperature controller. You don't want to overheat your curing carbon fiber layup as this can cause the resin to crack and become a fire hazard. Instead, plug the heat source into an Inkbird temp controller. Attach the heat probe to the part. Press and hold the set button, arrow to the maximum temperature you want, and press and hold set again to confirm. The controller will automatically cycle on and off to maintain your set temp. Bonus tip, label your power cords. With vacuum pumps, heaters, lights, and tools all in the same area, having a label right there at the plug end makes it easy to double check that you're plugging in the correct device. Number five, control your tool speed hands-free with a foot pedal. Plug your heat gun or rotary tool into the pedal, set the tool to the maximum speed you want, then press the foot pedal to turn it on. Push down harder for faster speed or release the pedal to turn off the tool.